Okay, you guys know how it is when it comes to these fairy tale spoilers. I normally like I haven't been talking about them for a while now, but it's like I had to talk about these ones at least because oh my god, shit is going down and we are gonna see some stuff with like Demaria. So yeah, you've been warned, so you know, do the regular, you know, three, two, one, right. I hope you've all fucked off right now. If you're here to stay, then let's talk right about those spoilers and just jeez. We've only got two pages to talk about and there's like literally no text in either of them. So you can literally just go and have a look at them now. And you can already see. So from the first page from what we get to see, we get to see Sharla. Seemingly that like, she like pushed like Wendy out of the way from like a blast and actually just got fucked herself in a human form. And you do get to see like Ulti, Sharia, and Wendy just going, oh my fucking god, oh my god, wait, like, like they're just like Sharla's just got absolutely just bopped right now. And then here's the most important part of the chapter from what we see, and that is Demaria. From what we saw with the whole thing uh, being naming her like Kronos, this is uh, truly her actual power that's being released, and it's just this dark form with like all these like weaves going around for her like chat. And this is obviously her transforming, showing off her true power. Now here's the thing: I was actually hoping. Like, from like, once we get the full Raw, and I'm hoping that, you know, the rest of the chapter comes in and explains the whole all tier thing, because if people saw my actual manga review of that chapter, I was a little bit mixed, and some people have been actually saying some really interesting theories. I really can't name, like, the actual guy that said a really great uh, theory to me on Twitter. I'm sorry, guy, me and him had, like, a great, good, like, discussion about it, but he was saying that the whole explanation on the all tier thing was that there was a crack in time and also I didn't like really look at it too much since I didn't see the manga stream version of it I saw like the early version of it which wasn't fully really kind of like translated like that like, it did, like a different word he didn't specifically say that but it was saying like since there's a crack in time and since you know Damari's been using the time powers as well and ever since it was during the whole eclipse then there's been cr like cracks and fractures and times like and that's exactly maybe where this like maybe like all the energy she sent into came there Either way, like, I feel like I'm going to stay at the weight how I feel if it's, that's actually all tier and they healed her. Like, and that's just, like, I want this just to be the embodiment of, like, a youth and it's, like, I managed to come out during, like, this one time of, like, someone using time and that's kind of how it goes. Like, I'd be more fine with that. I still don't think Ilte should have returned, but then as well, like, how are we going to fight someone like this who can actually control time? The thing is, though, how is, like, Damari going to warm this up now with his powers? It's just, like, increasing her destructive capability at all. I mean, just to easily take out Charlotte, which, like, honestly, like, that's the one character where I'm like, oh, my God, she's dead. Like, like, not that. It's like, all right, because, like, I've never liked Charlotte. Like, I've never liked her at all, like, as, like, with the cats. Like, when you compare it to, like, Happy is just adorable, and then when you got Panther Lady, and he's actually a badass. So it's like, uh, Charlotte was the always one that kind of got left behind, I feel like. It was like... Uh, it was just there, just like, oh yeah, we needed to give, like, you know, a cat to one of the Dragon Slayers, and then, and then when Panther Lee came, it was like, oh, Panther Lee is actually a strong warrior, and he knows how to fuck shit up. Like, that was the kind of thing that I liked about Panther Lee, and it's like, come with this, it's like, I can see that, you know, like, I can definitely see that. Charlotte being, like, taken out, like, it's just a death, I don't know, like, I, like, you know, honestly, a lot of people say, oh, no fairy tale deaths and all that. This shows, you know, Charlotte, she's out of commission, that's definitely so, so, it's like, it wasn't like she was ever gonna do anything majorly serious, like, she never was, like, a contender, like, a fighter, but it, this will probably be the trigger for Wendy to go absolutely nuts, like, we can see more of that, just rag and force going ape shit. We also might as well like get to see Altair maybe like throughout that is like we've learned that thing like Altair maybe it's like gotten to the point where she can like rewind time on body like on some like weird like spatial time kind of shit maybe she can do that maybe the arc of time can now work on like an actual body or something like that even though like you know since we've seen like how much her powers have developed like that we don't know like this this is the only thing it's like is this the person like is this the actual Altair that's from the crack from time or is this like you know the real Altair she managed to get banned she just honed the powers like you know there's a bunch of questions through it Honestly, I know a lot of people like saying like, no, that's the actual, that like, you know, that's a crack in time, that uh, all tier, like that isn't the real one. Like, we're honestly gonna have to wait for the actual chapter to come out to give a clarification on it. But since we got the spoilers so early, like since it's Sunday as it is recording, that's kind of crazy. Like to actually see that, like normally we get it, like you know, that's like kind of crazy to see that like, we got that right now, and it's like, okay, like that's a bit quick for. It. So maybe potentially on Sunday, since you know it's Saturday of recording, that we are probably gonna might get it tomorrow. Actually, we might actually get it on the Sunday and instead of the Monday. It honestly depends, but 
I'm goddamn excited for this chapter. Like, Demario actually looks like a real threat, and I'm really looking forward to seeing after the Larxus versus War fight. We're going to see how exactly this one's going to go down. So I'm looking forward to that. We're already going into these brigands and seeing what exactly kind of deadly force that they are. But honestly, I'm goddamn excited. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think about these fairy tale spoilers? But that is all for me. So I will catch you guys in the next fairy tale video and next time. Take me out.